Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing Starring Tinglers by, of course, the one and only, the man himself, R.L. Stein. I got this as a signed copy. I haven't brought it with me because it's a signed copy and I don't want to get it damaged. But it isn't a signed book plate. R.L. Stein actually wrote in the book. So I'm really pleased I picked it up. And, yeah, I don't really think that R.L. Stein needs an introduction. He's the guy that wrote all the Goosebumps books, some Fear Street, and some of the Point Horror stuff as well. So he doesn't really need to have an introduction. Especially if you grew up during the 90s, there is more of a high possibility that you have read some of his, some of his work. In fact, the very first novel that I ever read in my whole life was an R.L. Stein book. So I got this brand new and this is a short story collection. I knew that going in and this was a really, really interesting book. It's not the best thing I've ever read this month or during this year. And it's certainly not the best horror book that I read this year, but it was a real comfortable and easy novel to get through. And it was a lot of fun. It was very nostalgic for me to read this. And yeah, I just want to tell you what all the stories are about very, very briefly. And of course, this is going to be, as always, my own thoughts and feelings regarding this book. And also, this is going to be a spoiler free video. So the first story is called Welcome to the In-Between. And this is about a boy who is always late to everything. He's never on time and he finds that his parents have bought him for Christmas a new digital watch or one of them iPhone watches you know the point but as he is going through it and looking at it he accidentally drops it and it stops time itself and this results in the same day being played over and over and over again kind of like Groundhog Day so that one was really good. Next we have a story called Our Little Monsters. And this is about a girl who is a babysitter. And there's a new family that's moved into a big old mansion and they have kids and the girl goes over and says, okay, you know, I'll, you know, I can babysit your kids whenever you want to go out. And they turn out to be not really what the girl thought that they were. They aren't little kids they are literal monsters <laughs> so that one was fun next we had a story called skin which is about a boy who plays basketball and his skin is falling off his body he's shedding his skin like a snake i didn't really find this one to be that great it was just okay probably one of the least favorite stories in this collection for me next we have is a ghost in the car it's about a boy whose cousin is always teasing him and scaring him and also the boy's friends as well and he and his cousin drives him in his new car his old car that he's bought and the car happens to have a ghost in it very good very imaginative I like that one Next we have is the boy who heard screams. This is about a boy that screams wolf pretty much and he likes to play jokes and pranks on each other uh, and pranks on people. And then one day he's walking past a old abandoned house and he hears a boy screaming for help. But no one will believe him when he tells them about this. So that one was a good one. Next we have is bugs and I've only put a boy who's afraid of all bugs or insects. Can't remember much about it. Next we have is how to change your life. This is about a boy whose life isn't the greatest and he wants to change it and he finds a book in his public library called how to change your life. It has some strange it has some strange words on it and he reads it out thinking nothing much of it and then the next thing he knows he has been changed 
his appearance has changed, his life has changed, and he's transformed into a completely different person. But does he like the person who he's changed into? So that one was a good one. Next we have is The Bad Side. And I've only put a boy with two personalities. Can't remember much about this one. Next we have is The Hole in the Ground. This is about a boy who finds this mysterious hole in you know, his backyard or by his garage. And then as the days go by, the hole strangely gets bigger. But why is it getting bigger? Are kids trying to wind him up? Or is there something more sinister going on? That one was good. It wasn't the best, but it was kind of in the middle. And the next and the last story is called The Monster Maker. And this is about, it's kind of like a Frankenstein story, but for kids. This is about a pair of kids, a boy and a girl, that are passionate about making and building monster models. And there's this other boy that they see as their competition, as their rival, that they want to try to outdo him when it comes to what monster models they make. And yeah, that's all I want to say. There is a strange package that comes in the mail. And yeah, it's really, really good. And also, before I forget, I just want to say as well that at the start of all these stories, there is a page where R.L. Stein writes and describes and talks about his inspiration for that specific story and how he got the idea for it. A lot of the stuff is inspired by events that happened in his real life. So it's really, really cool to read just a little page of what inspired the author to write that specific story. So yeah, I really like this book, despite the fact that I don't read that much kids books or YA stories or middle grade or whatever. But it was really good, it was really appropriate to read during the Halloween period. But you can read this outside of the Halloween period. It's just, I feel, appropriate to read during this time. So I'm going to rate Stein Tinklers by R.L. Stein a 4 stars out of 5. Highly recommend it. Not really sure if you if you have never read anything by R.L. By R. Stein, if this is the thing that you should read first, as I don't really think that there is a kind of a book that you need to start off with, or a, or a series that you need to start off with with um, R.L. Stein. You just need to like be chucked into his work and yeah, explore the author by yourself. As he's written numerous series, he's written numerous books, and yeah, the guy is a legend when it comes to horror children's fiction. He really is. So guys, that's all I had to say. Let me know if you are inspired to read Stein Tingler. Let me know if you read it. Let me know what you thought about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Were you somewhere in the middle? Are you planning to buy this? Are you planning to get it? Because it, maybe I've inspired you to give it a try. What are your thoughts on R.L. Stein as a whole? And yeah, with all that out of the way, I will see you in my next video, guys.